Today, we'll be extracting data from TikTok using an unofficial API in Python. First, you'll have to install the TikTok API package, which you can do by running pip install TikTok API minus minus upgrade. You can hit enter. Mine's already installed, so it's not going to take long. The next step we have to do is Python minus m playwright install, which will install some binaries for a hidden browser. This might take a while for you, but I already have it installed. And just as a disclaimer, I wrote and I maintain TikTok API, but it's got over 400,000 downloads, so it's trusted by the community. The documentation for this code will be in the description. I'm also working on a free web scraping and reverse engineering YouTube series slash course that will be published to this channel. So subscribe if that's something you'd be interested in. It'll have real world examples, advice, and a dummy site to test on. Okay, so now we can get to programming. So all we have to do is say from TikTok API, import TikTok API. We have to instantiate the class by just going like this. So now if we want to get trending videos, we can just do for video in api.trending.videos. Then we can say print video.author.username. And this will give us, this will print out the usernames of all of the trending videos on the first page of TikTok right now. It takes a few seconds to run. However, here we go. Who's, who's currently trending at the time of writing this video? What if we want to download one of these videos instead? As you can see in the file here, there's no .mp4. So let's just say, if we want to say video bytes can be video .bytes. I'm just going to break after one of these. Then we can say it with open test.mp4 write bytes as out out.write video bytes. And this will just save the video to a file. Now that that's finished, we can come over here, open up the MP4, and that's what's currently trending. Another important thing is if you want to get all the data associated with some object, you can do print video dot as dictionary, and this will return all the data associated with this object because they're not all attributes on classes right now. As you can see, there's a lot of data. The code should abstract away at least some of that so you don't have to deal with it directly like getting the author and whatever. Hopefully this package will be useful to you. And if you create anything cool with it, feel free to send me an email or a LinkedIn request and check out some of the socials I have linked below as well as subscribe. Thank you.